Hello, thank you for coming on this virtual tour of the Mariana Soil Test Laboratory. My name is Nathan Slayton and I'm the director of the Soil Test Program for the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture. Soil testing allows growers to evaluate soil fertility and determine how much lime and fertilizer are needed to optimize plant production. Each year, the Mariana Soil Testing Lab analyzes around 200,000 soil samples submitted by Arkansas residents, including farmers, home gardeners, lawn enthusiasts, landscapers, and golf course superintendents. Thanks to the Fertilizer Tonnage Fee Program, routine soil testing is provided to Arkansas residents free of charge. So please enjoy this virtual tour of the Mariana Soil Test Laboratory. We hope that you will take advantage of our free soil testing services. If you have any questions about having your soil tested, please contact your local county extension agent. Soil testing services at the University of Arkansas date back to at least 1945, when Dr. Robert Bartholomew accepted soil samples from 10 farms from each county in Arkansas. With the assistance of his students, Dr. Bartholomew performed chemical analyses on these samples, interpreted the results, and made lime and fertilizer recommendations to farmers. Subsequent demand for these soil testing services quickly exceeded the capacity of Dr. Bartholomew's lab. By 1953, up to 4,000 samples were received for testing each month. That same year, a fertilizer tonnage fee of 25 cents per ton was approved by the Arkansas State Legislature to support university soil testing services. With this funding, the Mariana Soil Testing Lab was constructed and began operating in 1954, originally only testing soil for the residents of 26 counties in eastern Arkansas, but now handling all submitted soil samples. Over the years, soil testing procedures have changed, but demand continues to grow. The University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture Soil Testing Program is now one of the largest land-grant soil testing programs in the nation. In 1972, the one millionth overall sample was processed. The program tested its two millionth sample in 1992, its three millionth sample in 2005, and its 4 millionth overall sample in 2013. Today, 50 to 60,000 samples are received each month during the peak soil testing season, and approximately 200,000 samples are tested annually. The development and adoption of grid soil sampling and variable rate fertilizer application as tools of precision agriculture suggest that demand for soil testing services will continue to increase. Looking to the future, the Mariana Soil Testing Lab will continue to invest in technological enhancements, ensuring that the laboratory and its services continue to be convenient and valuable resources for many years to come. Soil testing clients can currently submit soil samples to any local county extension office in Arkansas for direct shipment to the Mariana Lab. Alternately, agricultural consultants may deliver large volumes of soil samples directly to the Mariana Lab for processing. On any given day, the Mariana Lab may receive as many as 10,000 samples, about five tons of soil. Workers unpack individual soil sample boxes from each shipment and tear off the tops, exposing the soil inside. Sample boxes are then arranged on trays in a specific order corresponding to the submitted paperwork. Keeping track of these samples throughout the testing process is essential. In the stamping room, the trays of samples are double-checked and cross-referenced again with the submitted paperwork. Stamps corresponding to each group of samples are applied before proceeding to the next preparation phase. For every 11 soil samples received, the Mariana Lab also tests a quality assurance sample. 
The quality assurance samples can be clearly recognized during the preparation phase by one of three brightly colored boxes. Yellow, representing a standard check soil sample, red for a high standard solution, and blue for a low standard solution, all with known chemical properties that can be used to check instrument calibration. These quality assurance samples help ensure that the lab's analytical results are consistent and accurate. The soil samples sent in for analysis may arrive very dry, very wet, or anything in between. To ensure that samples are sufficiently dry, and to destroy the viability of imported red fire ant eggs that may inadvertently be transported with soil samples, unpacked sample boxes are stacked on carts and placed in a large oven set at 155 degrees Fahrenheit for 48 to 72 hours. Once dry, the soil is processed through a grinder to break the soil cores apart homogenize the sample, and remove any stones, roots, and debris that may be present. The homogenized soil is placed back in the original box before moving on to the analytical laboratory for testing. Routine soil analysis consists of two separate tests. One, the Malik 3 extraction, which estimates the availability of selected nutrients like phosphorus, potassium, and zinc to determine how much and what kind of fertilizers might be needed. And two, a soil pH analysis, which measures the soil's acidity or alkalinity for the purposes of determining the potential lime requirements. In the lab's prep area, Lab technologists measure precise scoops of the dried ground soil samples for each of these tests. Two gram soil samples taken for the Malik 3 test are combined with 20 milliliters of the Malik 3 solution, which is a mixture of acetic acid and several other chemicals designed to extract plant essential nutrients from soil. This mixture is placed in a shaker for five minutes to allow for a more complete extraction of available soil nutrients. Soil particulates and solution are then separated by filtration. Filter papers catch the soil, allowing the solution containing the extracted soil nutrients to be collected in test tubes for analysis. For the pH test, 40 milliliters of deionized water is mixed with 20 grams of soil in a small cup. These sample cups are then lined up on trays and loaded into the pH instrument for analysis. It's time for testing to begin. In the instrument room, test tubes of Malik 3 soil extracts are placed on a sampling tray. An auto sampler withdraws a small amount of solution from each sample and feeds the liquid into an inductively coupled argon plasma atomic emission spectrophotometer, or ICAP for short. The liquid sample is sprayed into the ICAP instrument's plasma, where the atoms of extracted nutrients become excited and emit photons with unique identifying wavelengths. The ICAP instrument's sensors measure the wavelength and intensity of these radiated photons and can then calculate the type and concentration of nutrients in each soil sample. For the pH analysis, a pH meter moves along rows of sample cups containing the soil water mixture. The Mariana Labs pH meter has 12 pH electrodes so that 12 samples can be tested simultaneously. Spinning propellers blend the soil and deionized water mixtures while the pH electrodes measure the soil pH. Once the Malik 3 and pH tests are complete, test results are cross-referenced with the original paperwork and entered into a University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture soil analysis program. Depending on the test results and what plants will be grown, 
This program generates lime and fertilizer recommendations based on decades of soil fertility research. For samples submitted through the county extension offices, a soil test report is generated for each sample and transmitted back to clients. Test results from large-scale grid samples submitted by agricultural consultants are compiled into a single data file for clients to use in third-party software programs. In addition to the free routine analysis, the Mariana Lab also provides fee-based services for interested clients. For more information or if you have any questions about soil testing, please contact your local county extension agent or visit our website.